Hi guys, so I'm going to be recording finally my foundation routine and I'm going to try I'm going to try and do a talk through so I'm going to explain why I use what and yada 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 Alright, so this is my clean canvas except for my brows, I just filled in my brows I will be doing a brow routine at a later date but this is my foundation routine and as I said this is how I do well didn't say but this is how I do my foundation and if it is that you like this way you can try it. Um I generally do my foundation after my eyes but I'm going to be recording a different video for my eyes. So yeah stay tuned for that and I hope you guys enjoy the video and yeah continue watching okay <laughs> guys so the first thing in my routine is to prime and today I'll be using the Mika Magnesia because I'm oily so I use this I am actually searching for actual another um, primer because this is not really good for your skin because over time it can deteriorate your skin so I really don't use this as often like for daily for daily use I generally use the, the mattifying balm even though it doesn't keep me matte all through the day it helps to reduce the oil a little bit not a big difference as much as the look of magnesia does but because this is not so great for your skin because it is a laxative for your your stomach and if you know your the whole your body works it needs something strong to like relax your your your, your, your stomach muscle and all of that all of that i can't explain right now but it's not really safe to wear every day so i just wear this on special occasion like if i'm if i know i'm going to be out all day and stuff like that but for today i'm just going to use the little magnesia and i stipple it on a brush on my stipple brush which i cut i cut the, the white ears off because it wasn't really doing anything for me and whatever and i just stipple it on the areas that i need it the most which is my t-zone and a little bit under my eye and then just blend it in i also tend to put the mattifying balm on top of this because I really do like the white residue that this leaves after. I really want the make the Becca um matte and poreless for um they call it primer but I can't find it out here or I really not looking anyways because I really don't want to be paying double the price that I would pay if I bought it overseas which is what tends to happen here in Jamaica. Alright so now I'm just going to let this dry and come right back. You guys see how I look like a ghost? I don't like that. So I'm not going to, you don't have to do this, I'm just going to put the mattifying balm from City Colors over some of the areas just to like get rid of the whiteness. That's that. If you see me got looking that way, my mirror is that way. Yeah. So next is a foundation. And the foundation that I'm currently using is the Milani Comfort Plus Perfect Two in One Foundation and Concealer. And I use two shades. I use number thirteen, which is chestnut, and number fourteen, which is a darker shade right now, which is golden toffee. This is a little bit too red for me, and this is a little bit too light for me. So I mix them, and I actually have them mixed in this bottle so yeah this is the foundation that i use i really like it so far it's it has full medium to full coverage you can build it up and for me i use a brush or a sponge today i'll be using my sponge um when i'm using the brush i just want to do quick and a full face like a full a full face you know like a glam, full coverage look and when i use in the sponge i want it to look more skin like etc etc because the sponge is more softer and stuff because they understand that. i don't know my trainer sound went while i was singing that anyways yeah so 
Yeah, that's the foundation that I use. So I'm going to apply that now. I also use the Fit Me, the, the matte and coreless in 355, but I'm running out, so I need to get a new one of that. Alright, so I'm using my new technique sponge, which is damp. And I'm going to use the top and apply it all over my face. The next reason why I'm using the sponge is I don't really need much co coverage nowadays because I don't have much spots. Because I'm not picking, I just have bumps because I haven't been drinking a lot of water. So, yeah, drink your water, guys. It really makes a difference. Trust me, I never usually drink water and I have seen a difference. But because I've not been home, home much, I've been drinking a lot of juice or whatever. Or whatever. This foundation is said to be water, water resistant, sweat proof, non wearing, lightweight, medium to full coverage, and that is so true. It's an oil free formula, which is true also. Um, it, it's very light and so on and so forth. I'm guessing by the feel and because it says it's water resistant, that is a silicone based and not a water based foundation. And I believe so. I've not peeled off the back and check, but yeah. It's good to know that, guys, um, what is the base of your foundation because that can determine how it works with your skin. If you have a silicone base and you have a silicone, a water-based primer, it's not going to really work, even though most of the primers nowadays are, are silicone based, but you need to check out for ingredients when you're buying your products. Even for skin products like lotion and so on and, and stuff like that. Alright guys, so next would be for me concealer, which is concealing under the eyes, the T-zone, the highlighting concealer. Because I really don't need much concealing after I use that, um, after I use my foundation. Because it has, it has medium to full coverage and I really don't have that dark, dark, dark circles or anything. So... The concealer and the the concealer that I will use is either either the Jordana Complete Coverage Two in One Concealer in Golden Caramel, which is lighter than my skin, as you can see. I also use solar foundation. I didn't say that earlier. Or the Estee Lauder Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer in Deep. I believe. Yes, Deep. Um, for the video, I'll be using the Jordana concealer and I just apply this under my eyes sparingly a few strokes a little on the forehead not too much I'm not one of those that love the forehead highlights I miss I mostly love it under the eyes and I'm going to continue using the sponge for this video this the pointing section of the sponge the reset me sponge and blend it out. When I use a sponge, it's less dramatic. You realize that the color is very bright, but when I use a sponge, it kind of mutes it out a little bit more, so it's not that bam in your face drag highlights, but it gives me a little dimension, which is what your foundation and highlight really should do. So I don't carry mine straight up because I don't like that. I don't need the extra cheekbones. So I just stop it right about in my eye. If you have a round of face, you can do that straight up because that would um, give some dimension to your face and kind of slim down your face a little bit more. But I, I really don't have a round face. I have more like an oval shape. So I can get away with just blending it like that. And yes, there are different ways in doing your concealer and all these things that people are doing. But everybody does, does the same thing because they see a person doing the same thing. 
but there are different ways of doing these things you want to learn how you can do a one-on-one -on -one class with me all right so next i'll be using this face by chanel um foundation and it is in butternut i have a love-hate relationship with this and i don't know if you're going to see it right now but it can be a little bit cakey on my face like it clumps up on my face in places and but i love the color for that dramatic look even though i'm, I'm not going to go as dramatic as this can because i'm going to um blend it out a lot but it can tend to give you that ghostly look but looks nice also um not ghost look um clumpy look and be careful with this because the you can actually get a ghostly look as I was saying with this. I don't know if you guys seen it. Like after I place it, it's not moving. That's what I don't like about it. If I did that with the Sasha Butter Cup, it would move. And yeah, I use this, the Sasha Butter Cup or a lighter Milani foundation um powder under my eyes all right guys so next i would do a contour um as if i want contour that day but for the video i'm just showing you all my um steps for contour i use the la girl pro face powder in cocoa or i use this little powder which is actually a eyeshadow brow powder from clean color um i've had it for a long time now when i first saw it i immediately thought, thought contour when i saw it and it's the one that i'll be using today it can create you have to take your time with it because it can create a dramatic look and i applied it right under my highlights i have different ways of applying mine sometimes i bring it up like this when i want to create that cheeky look or i bring it down when i want to slim down my I apply my contour before I apply my base powder because I like to put it all over my face. It's like oh, this is the extra light. I put it all over that area and blends it, and it blends everything in seamlessly. See how dramatic that gets? You're not paying attention. You guys see? Yeah. But it will all cool down. And I put a little bit of this on the side of my nose also. I bring it down at the side, across which of my nose and under my nose. Because that's what my nose shape calls for. You need to learn the shape of your nose, what your nose requires. So it's not everybody's nose needs a straight down look. No. So yeah, it's because I don't have any imperfections in the side of my nose. I can carry it straight down just to bring back the life to my nose but if I had like for example lower bridge hair or no bridge I could just put it there alone and then it would bring forward that area there are all kind of things you can learn about this all right so now I'm just going to go over this a little with the area that has on the foundation Alright, so the next step in my foundation routine is to apply powder and the powder that I use currently is the Milani powder in ginger. This is the powder. You can see I hit pan and all that. So I'm just going to square my brush into the powder and stipple or dab it on. And you guys see what I mean by I just apply it over the contour and it just bring it down a bit
all right guys so this is it for my foundation routine i had a little glue to the skin just because but yeah this is my foundation routine simple and you guys saw my no makeup makeup so this is it from glam to no makeup makeup you know from no makeup makeup to this i personally don't go more than this for my base because i really don't need it I, as you guys see everything is covered i look like i have more makeup i look like a doll you know it's so super very yeah i look like a doll so i generally don't go more do more than this because i don't need to my highlights doesn't generally go lighter than this because i don't want to look like a drag queen that is a different technique i like it more subtle and soft all right guys so again this is my foundation routine i'm showing the side for your eyes my phone my foundation routine and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys learned something um i tried talking through the video something new that i'm trying but yeah this is it simple clean but full coverage foundation routine all right guys so this is Moya Lovely signing out and remember to wear the best you for the world to see you. Love you doll.